In this video, I'm going to show how to set up the M8S media box. Uh, first, we get those two welcome screen uh, edit, so it goes a little faster. It technically goes a little slower on, to put up time. So you get the main screen, and the first thing you get to do is go to the settings. In the settings, you're going to choose either Wi Fi or Ethernet. In my case, I'm connected to Wi Fi. So after you choose uh, Wi Fi, you're going to ask you for the password. You put the connection. Then the next step is display. This already preset. There's nothing actually to play around. It's all automatically. And you can change maybe if you want the screen, save it to four minutes, eight minutes. And, and then now we got advanced settings. It's already pre-config, so it's technically nothing to to change except if you have different remote controls. If you want to add some new remote controls, and then we go to others. That's where uh, you get the Android operating system where you can make changes um, if necessary. Really, there's nothing to only if you want to uninstall in applications. Maybe that would be a place to go. If you want to change language, if they need to change language, um, that will be the only thing to do there besides uninstalling any uh, other uh, applications. But the box is preset. set. And then the next thing is in the applications. Uh, you have to set up an account in uh, Play Store. Uh, Google, I recommend doing a computer much easy. If you have an account already, you just uh, proceed with uh, your username and your password or create new. But I will go to the computer, create the account, and then jump into the box and hit the information. Um, that will be it. I will show in the next uh, video how to set up Cody.